If you ask anyone which superhero has the best villains, chances are most people will say Spider-Man, Batman, or even Superman. But I would argue that the hero with the best enemies is The Flash. And while I love Professor Zoom, Gorilla Grodd, and Godspeed just as much as the next guy, I'm talking about the rogues. The petty thieves that have earned the respect of The Flash. Because the rogues aren't like other villains. They're different. They're special. And today, we're going to find out exactly what makes the rogues the villains that they are. Welcome to Singularity. Meet the rogues. Captain Cold, a.k.a. Leonard Snart, is the leader of them, a meticulous criminal mastermind who freezes his enemies in his tracks. Heatwave, a.k.a. Mick Rory, is a pyromaniac with a long criminal record dating back to childhood when he watched his family burn in a house fire. The Mirror Master, a.k.a. Sam Scudder, is a begrudged factory worker who learned how to enter the reflections inside mirrors. Weather Wizard, a.k.a. Mark Marden, was a petty criminal who happened upon a piece of technology that lets him control the weather. The Trickster, a.k.a. Axel Walker, is an eccentric legacy villain with a repertoire of toys and gadgets sure to surprise his enemies. And finally, Golden Glider, a.k.a. Lisa Stark, Leonard's sister, is an Olympic skater with the ability to move around in astral form apart from her body. What makes these bad guys special is their code. You see, the rogues operate under a strict moral code of conduct. Rule 1. You never kill unless it's absolutely necessary for self-defense or protecting others. Rule 2. Never kill a child under any circumstances. Rule 3. Stay away from drugs. You're not you under the influence of those substances. And rule 4. Never go after a hero's family. These rules constitute the moral code of the rogues, and it's what makes them different. And while it could be argued that these rules are just for self-preservation, I mean, breaking any one of them could lead to superheroes coming down on them harder than ever before, I think that this runs deeper. You see, deep down, the rogues are good people. And this is especially true during the New 52. During this run, Barry Allen, The Flash, is trapped in the Speed Force during an event called Forever Evil, when a team of evil versions of our favorite superheroes invade our Earth. Rather than just stand by and let it happen, several bad guys take them on, among them, the Rogues. During a fight with Deathstorm, the evil version of Firestorm, Captain Cold actually loses his newly acquired powers in a process that causes him excruciating pain. But does this stop the Rogues? Of course not! They just continue fighting to protect their world. Later, in the New 52 Flash run, when the Riddler takes over Central City threatening to kill innocents, it's the rogues who step up to help out. And these are just a few of dozens of examples. When Heatwave and Weather Wizard were murdered in the Injustice timeline, Barry Allen himself showed up to their funeral, saying how he had always respected the way the rogues did their business. In a parallel universe called Flashpoint, Leonard Snart was even a hero named Citizen Cold. Now, at this point, you might still be wondering what makes the rogues special. Just having a code doesn't mean anything. Every villain has lines they won't cross, and even the likes of Lex Luthor and Deathstroke have joined the side of justice on occasion. So, before going any further, let me tell you some stories. In 2003, Roy Madrill Jr. and Chris Martinez, while getting gas at a Circle K in Tucson, Arizona, were flagged down by a mother whose two children, aged two and six, had just been kidnapped. Madrill and Martinez pursued the kidnapper down the road while calling the police and eventually recovered the kidnapped children. In 2007, Jiang Tian was on his way home from work when a bus crashed and pinned him underneath it. Seeing that he was in peril, more than 15 people worked together to move the bus off of him, saving his life before the first responders could even arrive. And finally, most recently, in 2015, Charles Collins, a resident of Philadelphia, jumped onto the subway rail to rescue a man named Alfred McNamee, 
who had fallen onto the track and suffered a broken back, a shattered knee, and several broken ribs from the fall. When later interviewed, Collins said, I'm not a hero. I mean, people do the same thing all the time. And he's right. In all three of these stories, these people are just doing the right thing. And that's not to say that they aren't heroes and don't deserve commendation. They absolutely are. But in the same situation, who wouldn't pursue those kidnappers to rescue a six-year-old and a two-year-old? Who wouldn't rush to help rescue a man from underneath that bus? Heroes are just regular people given the opportunity to do extraordinary things. And that's what makes the rogues special. In DC Comics, morality is a black and white issue. Characters like Superman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern are ideally good characters. Sure, they have flaws, but they'll always do the right thing because they're heroes. Characters like Professor Zoom, the Joker, and Ares are the exact opposite. They're villains. They're bad, and they always will be. There is no in-between, unless you're like the rogues. The rogues aren't good guys. They're petty thieves. They're criminals who don't know how to make an honest living, but when their backs are against the wall, they're bad people who can be counted on to do the right thing. That's why they have a code. They aren't willing to kill children, do drugs, or attack a superhero's family because those things are crossing a line that they refuse to cross. The rogues and their code of honor show us that even bad guys can be heroes when given the opportunity. And isn't that so uplifting? Characters like Superman and Wonder Woman can inspire us to do the right thing all they want, but in the end, we just aren't Superman or Wonder Woman. We aren't symbols of justice that can always be trusted to do the right thing. We make mistakes, we make bad choices, we mess up. But just like the rogues, whatever our past may be, we can all still decide to do the right thing. We can all still be heroes. This is Singularity, and remember to stay curious. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, it's only my second video, but I really think I'm starting to get a feel for this. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel to see what else is coming up. Um, comment letting me know what you thought about it. Uh, next video is going to be about Mega Evolution from Pokemon, and after that we'll be talking about Professor X from Marvel Comics. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, something that you'd like to stick around for, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And comment and let me know what kind of stuff that you guys would be interested to see. Uh, I'm trying to get a whole diverse range of topics. But let me know what kind of stuff really sticks out to you. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you next time.